Unfortunately, people, <clears throat> Stephen Hawking passed away. However, it's kind of fitting that, uh, according to Wikipedia, he died March 14th, but the date is only March 13th. He died in the future. What? Mind blown! Of course, he's probably just in Europe or something. But still, he died in the future to me. Rest in peace, Stephen Hawking. You'll be missed. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? <sighs> I'm at work. Just chilling. Just got here. There's a squirrel crawling on that bench right there. I don't know if you can see it. But they're doing some construction here. I'm just heading down to the office space. Thought I'd take a little video. <sighs> There's construction they're doing. Not sure. I think they're just putting in a pipe to drain water from up there. Instead of having a pool right there. I don't know if that's going to solve the problem right there, though. I think they still need to uh, probably just pave this, to be honest with you. Repave it. Anyways, you guys, there haven't been a lot of clips this week because I've been having a rough week. Um, I suffer from depression and stuff. I'm a bit more of a sensitive guy emotionally and uh, today that's really or this week it's been really rough on me in that regard I don't really want to go a lot into it but <clears throat> depression is a hard thing to deal with and I have to deal with it on a daily basis and I have to fight it all the time and certain factors make it extremely difficult to uh fight and be positive and I don't know it's beautiful it looks like trash huh anyways yep I think my dog or cat urinated on my freaking backpack so that's just great my dog and my cat have been uh, causing controversy for me, and that's just great, too. Like, the cat, I asked my dad to pick up some cat food, gave him some money, and I told him what cat food to get, and he got the wrong brand. So my cat has been uh, very picky and needy. Oh, no. And my dog... My brother just calls me a shitty owner because my dog lives on a leash inside and outside because he escaped, he likes to run away. In my view, I'm being responsible as a pet owner by keeping him on a on a leash rather than risking him getting hit by a car or him running into a road and causing an accident and injuring other people. I have a husky and they're notorious for being runaways. It, it's you're lucky if you can teach your husky not to be a runner. Because it's just in their nature. My brother doesn't understand that. For some reason, he thinks he knows more than I do in regards to pet ownership. Even though I've, I've raised small flocks of birds and herds of cats. Not herds, but I mean, I've, I've had up to two cats at a time and multiple dogs I mean shoot I took I raised a wolf from a pup to a full-grown wolf I raised an English bull mastiff from a pup to a full-grown mastiff you know and they all all of my pets nothing outside of birds tragedy happens with birds uh, nothing bad happens to them or has happened to them in the time that I had them. They all grew up to be good dogs. And Titan overall is a good dog too. He's just a runner. 
It's his nature. So I take preventative measures to prevent him from running. It's not abusive. It's not neglect or anything like that. But he doesn't see it that way. I mean, all my animals go to the vet when they need to go. They get the training they need. So my dog knows sit, stay, lay, come, stand, up, shake, leave it. You know, he's not aggressive, even when people are mean to him. Uh, he doesn't steal food anymore. He used to steal food, but that was because, you know, he was, he was a puppy. He was learning. So. Oh, no. My pup's only gotten off his chain once in the past, like, six, seven months. So that's good, too. And that was just a couple days ago. It wasn't even my fault. Somebody put him on the wrong. Somebody let my dog off his his indoor leash without my permission. And then they the indoor leash is also the outdoor leash. They, they're connected. It's all one long yard yard leash. Um, and they connected the lead to his ID tags and not to the actual hook loop on the uh, collar so had to go searching for him and today someone left one of the doors open or something and my cat got loose and I woke up because I work graveyard shift where I'm up all night uh, and I woke up and my cat was gone I had to go finding her fortunately my cat doesn't really have a tendency to go very far so she's usually just under a car or something nearby and she responds when you call her name so that's good but I got to get her some fresh cat litter this week some the proper cat food and get this stuff on Friday on payday yeah man I'm just I don't know I'll talk to you guys later, alrighty? Thanks for listening to me whine. <laughs>